We mentioned that, in general, the total strength of an elastic problem is the combination of elastic strength and thermal strength. If there is no thermal condition for a mechanical problem, naturally, the thermal strength part can be eliminated here. In a case that thermal condition does exist, we sure will have thermal strength. But how about the elastic strength part? Is there going to be elastic strength for the problem, and if so, where does it come from? Let's have a look at this simple case. Say we have a segment of pipe sitting on a very smooth surface. No friction between the surface and the pipe, meaning that the pipe can slide freely on it. The environment temperature and the initial temperature of the pipe are all 22 Celsius degree. Now we add a thermal condition 100 degree to the entire body of the pipe. What will happen? With the increased temperature, the pipe will expand uniformly in radial directions without any constraint. We call such thermal expansion free expansion. During this process, there is no external force and no reaction force. Therefore, there is no internal force generated in the material, which means no stress over the body. And because there is no stress, there is no elastic strain exists. Apparently, if there is a constraint for the body, there will be resistance for the thermal expansion from either boundary conditions or contact with other parts. These constraints will exert external force on the body, and internal force will be generated to balance the external force. This will cause stress, and once there is stress, there is elastic strain. So if the pipe is constrained in radial direction like here, it won't be able to freely expand with thermal condition. This way, you will find both elastic strain and thermal strain generated in the body and you will also have stress distribution. There's another situation. Even though there's no constraint, thermal condition can bring elastic strain and stress to the body. If the coefficient of thermal expansion is not uniform over the entire body, there will also be internal force generated. For example, let's have a look of this circuit board. It sits on a smooth surface without any constraint. Now we apply a thermal condition 60 Celsius degree to the entire body. If the baseboard and the electric components are made from the same materials with same CTE, the circuit board will expand freely without stress and elastic strain. However, in reality, we know that the board and the electric components are definitely made from different materials, and the CTE of them surely are different. In this case, if there is thermal condition applied, the different parts will want to expand with different ratios, and this will cause resistance in the body. Therefore, stress and elastic strain will also be found in such case.